Okay. Why don't you two get out? Go play. Go play. Good job. Good job. I'm going to hit record. So we are recording this. Um, just for those, there's a few people that wanted to make it, but they couldn't. So we're going to post this on our community um, feed. Um, so we welcome you. Thank you all for joining. I'm going to leave this part open. You guys don't even know what I'm talking about, but just in case other people want to show up. Um, so I'll do that. Oh, thank you guys. So as Sherry was saying, my name is Trinity and she is Shamama Sherry. You are seeing her put on a mask because we will be having her go into channel here shortly. Um, I will close this part so I could share my screen do, 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 here in just a second. So this retreat, this healing retreat that we have going on is a beautiful way for us to um, share with you a taste of what we do in Cultivation Center. Cultivation Center is our, the Stars of Unity's healing group. Um, it is a paid group, but you'll get tons of stuff in it. And uh, we wanted to share just kind of the process. We've been getting a lot of uh, questions about, well, what is this subconscious or what is channeling or what do you do here? So we wanted to create this for you guys. Um, so thank you for joining. I am going to share my screen. We wanted to create this session about perspective. Perspective is one of the <clears throat> layers that we went through in Cultivation Center, actually the first layer that we did. So in Cultivation Center, every single month we have what we call a layer. And we work on this layer all month. and. Um, it's not like a huge layer and it goes as deep as you want it to go, but how we have it organized is, um, I'm going to share my screen, is on the first of every single month, you receive a article style, uh, like PDF, and this is the information on the layer. So I'm going to go into the perspective one. And I have to move our faces so I can see. Can you guys see what I'm sharing? Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So perspective. Um, I'm not going to like read everything or anything like that, but I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of something that you would get on the first of the month. And this just kind of runs through uh, the layer of perspective and why perspective is important and why it's actually a layer. And um, I'll touch base on a couple of the points in perspective, but really fast, we'll go through kind of what you get in the article. So you get some information. Um, this video here is a channeled video and uh, more information, of course. And you also get a subconscious reprogramming video. And I think actually in this perspective one, I posted it at a later time, so it may not even be in here. But it comes with a bunch of exercises and examples, invitations of playwork. Um, and it's not anything where you have to do one, two, and three. These are um, just invitations to see what resonates with you because everyone is at a different spot everyone perceives things the different um, angles and everything so oops tasha is coming in awesome uh, so here it just kind of goes through a bunch of um a bunch of amazing integrational play work that you can incorporate into your own life however you see fit and things to watch out for um, and uh, just become aware so what's really important is bringing an awareness 
to yourself because what that does is help you create your reality. Uh, so when we are in a negative, um, there we just, go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> work. Yep. Um, when we are in a um, stuck part in our lives, when we bring awareness to either the triggers or what is keeping us stuck, it really does help move that energy. And that is the point of the layer is bringing awareness to it so that we can find how um, everything resonates with us and our reason why getting to those root, root um, the core I am like horrible with words today for some reason. I do not know why I've been tongue tied. <laughs> but as you can see here with perspective, um, we are talking about what is perspective exactly. And here it brings in points of our energy vibration, our chemical balance, how you react, your environment and your senses, um, and how those play a key role in your perspective. And I'm not gonna go into it too much, of course. And the channeling session, here, um, we're actually going to channel on it as well for you tonight. So that'll be very beautiful. Um, and then we'll go into how we do all the other things. But why do you, why is perspective important? Oh, we are full. Awesome. Hi, Tasha. Hi, everybody. Um, so why is perspective important? And we have found that perspective is important because it is how we create our reality. Um, with all the key components that create the perspective uh, is, is what brings our current situation into a manifest. It also is um, how we project outwards. So if we understand who we are inside, we understand what we are projecting outwards and why. Um, and so before I go into a whole bunch of VM, which trust me, I can do, even when I have trouble with words, <laughs> um, we will bring in a channeled session so that you guys can um, just hear from a 12th dimensional collective consciousness. And this collective consciousness is amazing. They are full of love they will answer any and all questions for you which we probably won't go into asking them questions tonight but we do have events that we are you're able to do that and of course we could always do private stuff and whatever that way but it is a beautiful way to um, expand our perception right and and uh, that I have found personally to be super helpful helpful in evolving or just aligning with what I want to manifest. So um, let me see if it looks like she's there yet. Just about. Okay, awesome. Thank you, the many. Thank you so much for joining us. I was just bringing these lovely people um, up to the topic about perspective and why it is important and what it does for us. Is there anything that you would love to um, talk to us about with that or share with us. When you see another or a situation. So when you see another person in a situation that is unknown to you, in this regard, it is how you see it will be different than so many others. It is an, an amusing, we shall say, when perspectives will vary so many in each and every way, but it is through perspective you see that you can create things of your dreams. In perspective, you will find hmm, that it gives you understanding and compassion beyond your mind. Perspective comes from a, hmm, a tweaking. So let us help you to see what perspective 
equal me for all of thee. In perspective, it is known that one who suffers and has not grown, one who always seems to be downtrodden, that is that person's perspective that has brought it upon him. His perspective is I am not enough, I can never do it right. Even though I try with all my might, I do these things and it never works out. It'll never be for me. I will always be without. Since that is the perspective that he harnesses, that is what he will experience and be and is, is the same for thee. If you look upon yourself in truly all your glory, then that will be your story. It is in your perspective of yourself. Do not put it on the shelf. It is the time when you see your greatness that you will find that it is indeed all the things that you can achieve are right at your doorstep, please receive. Because in this slight changing of your view of yourself, some slight rearranging is all it takes. It really is not hard. Give it a try and you will be surprised that you are indeed a star. For looking upon yourself with compassion as well. Is there something that you need to receive, release? It really is the first thing is perspective. Then all that other things will flow. Perspective of yourself, you must know will be the number one thing that you can do to create all your dreams that when you were a child, you knew all the things that you have not yet found change your perspective. They will come around. It is not really that hard. It is a perspective that you start. For you are beyond what you see in the mirror. In the mirror is your hmm, physical perspective as well. But there is more inside is truly where you dwell. What is inside? How do you perceive the one that you see in the mirror? What do you believe? We ask you to take a chance and switch it up, even do a dance. With perspective, you will see it is a dance that you will not want to leave. <laughs> Thank you. That was beautiful. May I ask a question? Yes. Thank you very much. If we are in a situation and we perceive the situation as very hard and maybe it is a situation that is not so desirable, but the situation is our current reality or our lifestyle. How could we go about changing our perspective so that way it changes our, um, our situation? Does that make sense? We will use an example. Thank so you. So say you are one that has, hmm,
tried over and over again to conquer certain manifestations, certain things that you have not yet attained. For example, we will say, what if you have a proclivity to mm, partake of things that are not beneficial to you? It is your mm, perception we will not delve into, but it was the changing that is important. So the perception you can understand, you may think a few things, but claim the opposite. So the perception is easy to find. You say that I have no control over this. I am never mm, accomplishing this or conquering this. I can never, I haven't been able to achieve it or there can be inner beliefs as well. But the conscious mind, the allowing mind is an important role as well. So in this regard, when you have a, um, we will say you refer to them as bad habit or a situation that you have not conquered in a um, proclivity to do something over and over in this regard, you will say the opposite. So if it is a proclivity to not move your body or not mm, allow yourself time to enjoy the flow of your body exercising as you refer to it and then you would say i am completely i am a uh, athletic i am a person who moves my body i am a I am fit, claim you are fit, claim you are strong, claim you are these things and your perspective of yourself will begin to fall in line. It is more of a, a reminder, a repetition in this regard, but changing your perspective in that regard is helpful to oneself. Whatever it is that you want to change, allow the opposite to begin yourself to see yourself in that way. And so in this regard, we also want to tell you that in the changing of one's perspective of others is quite helpful. Truly, also, times what you see in others has things to do with you, but... Shifting one's perspective to the opposite is really quite powerful because when you claim it, when you allow your heart to feel it, you allowed your mind to think it, then feel it, know it, become it, allow these things to shift because if you truly believe it and you truly proclaim it and you truly look at yourself differently, you would incorporate some compassion in that regard as well. Right, beautiful, beautiful. So the belief system is definitely incredibly important for the perspective. Hmm. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't see any questions in the chat necessarily. I didn't even share that as an option anyways, but um, I'm trying to think if there is anything else. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us for this group? That is. So it is of the conscious mind that you would hmm, be aware of some things, but it is also of the hmm, things that you are not aware of that we would like to bring to your attention to assist in this regard. Thank you. Again, knowing that hmm, many of you will look upon yourselves without realizing the true nature of who you are. So in this regard, when you look at your physical label, your name, your, your career, your hmm, family, and the physicality of your life, Indeed, that is one incorporation, but in realization and incorporating into your perspective, 
perspective is also of what is in your awareness, what is expand your awareness, expand your perspective. So we intend to assist in that regard, begin to think of the things of who you truly are at your, we will say soul level for a common understanding, but this is when you begin to broaden your awareness of not only being your physicality of the limitations told to you by society, it will broaden the perspective and your belief. When you realize that your truest nature is incredibly, hmm, we shall say gifted because that is how the term is used many times, but it is indeed hmm, not meant to say that one has something that another doesn't, but many things are unique and more resonant with each one. But in this regard, remembering and causing yourself to remember and view yourself and who you truly are in a soul level of all the things that are beyond the capabilities that you've been told. There is so much more in there. Yes, yes, yes. This is just a, a peak. There's so much more. Thank you. Thank you for that peek into the perspective. <laughs> you are very welcome. You're very mm. welcome. We see each one of you. We see who you truly are. We just want you to see that as well. Yeah. Me too. So do I. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So as Sherry comes back to us, um, I'm gonna go ahead and ramble a little about subconscious. Um, it's been called reprogramming, calibration, realignment, all kinds of work. But what is the subconscious? So the subconscious resides in every single cell of our body. Uh, it is known as our body's intelligence, but it is our belief system. Uh, a lot of the time our beliefs, our conscious beliefs or our conscious goals are one thing and our subconscious is a complete another. Our subconscious is uh, created in childhood and even passed through lineage as well. Uh, the subconscious governs like more than 95%, but it's safe to say 95% of our reality. Um, this is for many different ways. Um, through vibration and energy, everything is energy, you know, matching frequencies. So if your goal of making a million dollars, let's say that frequency would be up here and your belief system is money is the root of all evil, well, that's gonna vibrate at a completely different frequency level and therefore it won't match up and approximately 95% chance that it's not gonna match up until you match the frequency. So with subconscious calibration is what we call it, uh, with subconscious calibration, we utilize muscle testing because muscle testing allows us to communicate with our subconscious. And we will practice this. We have a little five um, statement exercise or, or whatever that we can do for you right here tonight to show you and so you could experience this. But what it does uh, with the subconscious, when you're communicating with the subconscious and utilizing muscle testing, when you say a statement that the subconscious aligns with or believes and has that belief, 17 to 22% um, of your muscles just will, uh, you'll contract 17 to 22%. And this causes you a forward motion. And if there is a no, just like Sherry is showing right there, she's calibrating. And then for a no, your muscles relax and it causes you to go backwards. And that's how we communicate. So, so we always I'll calibrate. Just say yes mm -hmm. or no, you go backwards. This way is helpful for us to see you, but um, that's okay too. 
And so a lot of the times when we're first doing it, sometimes um, our subconscious or our conscious mind more so is like, what's going on? And you will, you may not test as strong as Sherry did. So don't let that discourage you. Um, also, if your native language is not English, you'll want to calibrate in your native language. I have learned that with uh, many of my clients where they have to calibrate in their language, but then the rest of the statements seem to be just fine in English. So if you're having troubles that way, maybe try it in, uh, with your native language. Um, also, if someone tonight cannot calibrate, you could give me permission and I can help you with that as well. So after we calibrate, after we find where our belief statement or our belief system is within the statements that we provide you, um, and you're getting a no and you want to have that belief system as a yes, you get to just give me permission. You'll see me close my eyes. You'll probably see me do something weird with my hands and I'll probably talk or maybe it might sound like I had Tourette's. That seems to happen a lot. <laughs> and then, then it's done and I downloaded or cleared that for you. And then we will retest it to make sure. A lot of the times if you muscle test and um, after you give me permission to do whatever the downloading or clearing and it doesn't give you the answer that you're looking for uh, we ask that you wait a sleep cycle because there's some integration work that has to happen and sometimes if it's something huge it takes a full sleep cycle so while you're sleeping the energy is like all right now we could work you know and then it'll happen um, but also it is a beautiful indication that there's just something deeper and i say that's beautiful because i mean it, you don't have to search for it you know we we get to understand we're communicating with our subconscious this way and then we just dive deeper and sometimes we don't like to face it but it is so worth it once we do because once you bring awareness to something it allows that energy to alchemize and it balances and it's such a beautiful process you get to step into the embodiment of your truth and mind-blowing things happen it's incredible how much the belief system or how much the subconscious is like governs our life it's i don't know it's my i'm still my mind still gets blown away from all of it because it's it still helps me i love it so if you guys want to i have some statements ready for you who's ready show of hands come on yes yes yay aaron says in the comments so um with that channel, I'm feeling kind of centered. If you guys don't feel centered, we're just gonna take a deep breath um, and just fill into your heart. A lot of the times our conscious mind is super loud and we just want to give our conscious mind permission to take a back seat. Um, like I mentioned earlier, our conscious mind sometimes thinks it's gonna be one thing, but our subconscious is like, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> remember that one time? No, so it's okay. It's just information as well. So you're just gonna take a nice deep breath in through the nose, fill into that heart space and fill into love and gratitude, really fill into gratitude for yourself, for this opportunity. Go ahead and exhale, Ooh. breathe in and out, Ooh. nice, nice. One more deep breath in, feeling that gratitude for yourself, yes and exhale when you're ready go ahead and stand if you aren't already your feet will be shoulder width apart and your toes facing forward this gives you a nice balanced rocking motion and then just take a nice deep breath in and out and when you're ready out loud say the word yes and allow your body just to move forward Beautiful, beautiful. Take another nice deep breath in and out. When you're ready, say the word no. And allow your body to move backwards. If someone is having troubles and if I can't see you, if your, your videos aren't on, throw me a chat or take yourself off mute really quick. Um, if I need to help anyone calibrate, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Okay, I know a couple people that are blacked out. I know they know how to do it. So hopefully everyone is good to go. 
I think so. Okay, so let me get those statements. <laughs> I swear I was prepared. All right, take a nice deep breath in and out. And when you are ready, say out loud, I expand my perspective with ease and grace. And if you're getting a no and you would like me to download that for you, just give me your permission. And all you do is like, yeah, I give you permission or, or please or whatever you want to do, whatever feels comfortable as long as the intention is there. And I will download. I expand my perspective with ease and grace. All right, if you need to retest to make sure it's downloaded, go ahead and state, I expand my perspective with ease and grace. Awesome, lots of yeses, yay, woohoo. Beautiful, gonna go ahead and go on to the next one. Take a nice deep breath in and out. When you're ready, state, I flow within my perspective with love and gratitude. Okay, okay. If anyone got a no, or if you are a neutral, like if you don't move, you could give permission as well. And I will, I'll throw you forward. So I flow within my perspective with love and gratitude. All right, beautiful. Go ahead and retest. I flow within my perspective with love and gratitude. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, when you're ready, we can go on to the next one and state, my perspective is my co-creation for this world. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you would like me to download that for you, you can give me your permission and I will do that for you now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we thank you for your perspective. We thank you for your co-creation that I'm hearing. Beautiful, go ahead and retest. My perspective is my co-creation for this world. And you are so much gratitude for that as well. So that's beautiful. Number four, we have two more. When you're ready, you can state, I can disagree with another's perspective and accept their truth at the same time. I can disagree with another's perspective and accept their truth at the same time. Hi, Justin. Okay, if you're getting a no and you would like me to download that for you, we, I just give me permission and I will do that. Accepting their truth does not mean that you are agreeing, just means you are accepting that that is how they perceive things. That is all. And that is safe that someone needed to hear that. So go ahead and retest. I can disagree with another's perspective and accept their truth at the same time. Should be getting a yes. Beautiful. And last but not least for this event is, my perspective can change and expand as I grow and evolve. <laughs> my 
My perspective can change and expand as I grow and evolve. I'm hearing we should do it safe. But anyone who needs me to download that for you, please give me your permission and I will do so now. Mm -hmm. I right, go ahead and retest. My perspective can change and expand as I grow and evolve. You should be getting a yes. So I heard one that had something to do with safety. So let me see really quick. If you would like to, you could state it is safe to change my perspective at any time. Awesome, awesome. And if you'd like me to download that for you, I will right now. Yes, it is. Ah, okay, okay. Go ahead and retest. It is safe to change my perspective at any time. I should be getting a yes. You guys can go ahead and take a seat. While I was in there, I heard that sometimes it's hard to change the perspective because that means we are admitting that we were wrong. And that's not it, right? Um, and I think, well, we are in the giving layer, so I can't really corporate for, for Sunday still, but that would be a beautiful session to be able to expand on, um, you know, the, the feeling of safety when knowing we're right. You know, why can't we feel safe if we're wrong? So that's, I'm just going to make a note. I'm glad we recorded this. I go back and take notes. <laughs> Creating sessions in a session. <laughs> So thank you guys. I hope you are able to experience at least one or two changes there. You and me think there you go. Yes. Thank you, Trinity. Awesome. You are so, so welcome. So we went into what we typically do in the first week is channeling on a topic. The second week is the subconscious repro. And the third week in the cultivation center is integration. So yeah, usually channeling a course that's much longer and people get asked questions and, and subconscious repro, she is a master at it. Thank you. So we're going thank to go you. into, thank you, Trinity, you blow me away. So we're going to settle in and we're gonna do a little bit of integration. So please get comfortable, get relaxed. And we're, not gonna, we're gonna do just a real quick meditation so close your eyes, take a breath, and there's only the sound of my voice. All the worries, the busyness of the day, all the things that have to be done this weekend or even in the next hour, let them take a back seat. Everything takes a back seat. This time is for you. Feel your body start to relax. Let your muscles relax. And as you do, go to the base of your spine. And from the base of your spine, you're going to create what's called a grounding cord. It's like a rope or a cord that's going to go from the base of your spine into the earth, into Gaia. And as it does, it takes with it anything that no longer serves you. So you visualize and witness this cord going through the floor, through the dirt, through all the layers. And as it does, you begin to feel more relaxed. It goes deeper and deeper and deeper. And it goes to the core. And we see each other's cords there, 
all of our cords are there. Thank you. And the earth sends up her beautiful magnetic energy, flows up the cord to you. Comes in and it relaxes you even more. And as that magnetic energy flows in, it goes into all your chakras, flows out into the muscles, and the tissues, and relaxes you. It feels so good. And as you're relaxing, you begin to notice the top of your head, the crown, is feeling relaxed as your crown is relaxed to receive creator source unconditional love coming from way, way, way up like a beam down into the top of your head. Filled with unconditional love, healing, connection with the creator. Your guides and your angels begin to come close to that beam and actually go into the beam. Any angels, your guides, they're inside that beam and they're infusing love into that beam as well. All that unconditional love is circulating throughout your physical body and it begins to expand to your energy body. By expanding to your energy body, you begin to become aware of that field around you. You begin to feel it. It feels peaceful. It's a quantum field. You begin to connect to the quantum field. Your energy field, give it a color as you see it expand. It's completely relaxing. It envelops you. It takes you over. Go ahead and give it a color and let it expand. Fill your heart with gratitude and love. Send gratitude and love to your outside of yourself to, to mix with that energy body that's expanding around you. And say thank you. Say thank you to your support. Thank you, thank you. And send love to the energy body to circle, circle around and come back to you. Sending yourself some love. As your energy body expands and you're completely relaxed, you see in front of you, you, this is you. This is your ultimate you. Your perspective of your ultimate you standing in front of you. How is she dressed? What does she feel? What is she doing? What is she creating? What is she loving? What is she seeing? What is she knowing? Where is she going? See her as strong. See her with clarity. See her fully accomplished everything. She is so beautiful. Give her a color, a different color. Let her radiate that color out. How does she look? What is she exploring? She is you. Feel love for her and connection to her in your heart. Center that. And then as she is doing, feeling, being, all those things, you, she starts to walk a little closer and her color 
and her field, her energy field, begins to merge with yours. The colors are combining. You feel them. You feel her. And she begins to walk closer. The colors of your energy fields are completely combining. Like sparkles. She walks closer. And she merges into you. I am her. I feel her. I do know her. I love her. I speak like her. I see like her. And I know her. We are one. From now on, this color that has merged with my energy field, whenever I doubt, whenever I begin to wander into the old, I shift to that color and my perspective of knowing I am her. I feel her. Do what she was doing. I love the way she was loving. I speak the way she was speaking. And I see the way she's seeing. <clears throat> and I am her. Feel that color deeply. <clears throat> Feel that color emanate as your own energy field now. Yes, yes. Take in that relaxation and feel the love. Feel the love for that and feel the love for you. Everything, everything that has happened to this day, everything served you. Everything went into what she is. Every mistake, every stumble, everything created that. Say thank you. I understand. I understand, and I am now in this perspective that I am strong, I am capable, I am me, I am love, and I know this is what I am, as this now is my perspective. Remember that color that blended with yours. Thank you, thank you. Feeling that color, allowing that color mm, emblaze it on your heart. You feel love for her. You know she's always there. She is you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can begin to come back. Slowly, slowly, slowly come back. Wrap your hands together. And when you're ready, get your piece of paper out and your pen. And in this perspective, we are going to write down the you that you saw all those things, the you, all your perspective, the you that you currently are that was already incorporated into her, and the you that is now there in that color. Write all those things down. If anything, a perspective of you that you feel there might still be a particle of, that you do not want to keep, put that in a separate column. If there's any particles remaining of any perspective you wish to dismiss, it'll be in a separate column. But all those things, I am, I feel, I do, I love, I speak and I know, what was she doing? What was she feeling? What was she loving? 
What was she creating? And what are you doing right now that you totally love and create and you're blended with her? Write it all down. And if there's anything that you don't write, want, write on the separate list. And the last part, once you're done with that, I think I'll be. Write those things down. And write the color down too. Write it down. Write that color down. The color of hers that merged with yours. later if you don't have enough time but you're going to fold it up and you will when you have time put it in a, a spot that you see or attach it to a favorite crystal you don't have to do this right now but put it aside you can keep adding to it later too and the ones that are little particles remaining that you wish to release or dismiss of your prior perspective on yourself that you want to dismiss. Separate that out. <clears throat> also separate out the other, <clears throat> excuse me, the ones of people that trigger you, cause you to react, you don't understand. So the ones to dismiss of yourself you don't have a candle that's perfect you could do it later you don't need a candle but this represents everything everything that you don't deserve to view yourself as everything you are dismissing we release it now we release it now it's no longer your perspective it is gone it is gone no longer yours we release it now other people other people the ones that they say they have a different opinion or viewpoint this understanding will change you from a reactionary to a a compassionate and it really allows you to hold space for people other people we don't know what what it's like to be in their shoes we don't know what their journey has been we don't know what they've been taught that caused them to have that opinion that viewpoint or why they do those things 
but understanding that we're all connected and that every viewpoint, every opinion, every choice in life from the person who uses and hurts themselves, the person that is so steadfast in their beliefs that it almost, they're on an opposite spectrum and you don't understand they have led a different life. They had different challenges. And when you look at them with eyes of compassion, instead of eyes of, of not understanding and complete um, no complete uh, reaction that they're wrong, it'll change everything. It'll allow you to be in a place of peace with yourself. It'll allow you to be in a place of compassion for them. Next time you find yourself in a opposite opinion or a, an annoyance or a trigger, try switching it up to that. Try to understand from their shoes. We never know where anybody else has been. So we're going to stop reacting, stop hating, I don't think any of you hate, and start learning, understanding, and realizing that they could have so many challenges that we will never know what it was. We let that go and we live in compassion and love. And we switch our perspective from a steadfast stance of their wrong, I'm right, they annoy me, and we look at it with new eyes. And that is a new perspective to embrace. Integrate that, remember that, remember your color, put it up somewhere where you can see it, <clears throat> or put it to a crystal, anything else that you want to. And once you burn it, you can pour it onto Mother Earth, Gaia, and that completes our healing retreat. We love you. We hold a sacred space for you. And we are so honored that you joined us and that we shared this time with you. Thank you, everyone, for being here and just showing up for yourself in this way. Yes. It's so amazing, too. It's, I, I feel truly honored to be able to witness each and every single one of you and in, in your own authentic selves and it's yes. amazing you guys truly this energy is like i'm zinging it's so beautiful yeah. that was like I a really it. oh we got it we got to end this is how we yeah. always end so we always end integrating this so i'll let you explain that Trinity. sure so um our our events aren't uh, shoving a bunch of things all into one as we did today. They're usually like a full session of channel, a full session of the subconscious. Yeah. But either and and ritual, it's we call it the celebration ritual integration, um, and then we have other events throughout the whole month. But um, what we're doing here is bringing in the energy medicine and and scooping it up and on the inhale and then on the exhale we are anchoring it into ourselves so we're embodying the integration work so mm -hmm. i invite you for our, we're going to take a couple deep breaths in and out and on the inhales you're lifting your arms up like you're scooping up all of the juicy delicious medicine and then on the exhale, you're just embodying it. And if it is something that it needs to be released, you allow it to release through and into the grounds. And if it's something you want to anchor in, you just pour it into each and every single cell of your body. So go ahead, breathe in the new perspective as our higher self or best version of ourself into our now. And our exhale, we're integrating her into us now, him or her into us now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Breathing in the gratitude for yourself, the, the knowing and the acceptance of ourself of where we're at right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I honor my perspective. And we're gonna exhale. We're just gonna bring 
this wisdom into us now. Thank you for my perspective. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the communication through emotions. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This X or this inhale, we're going to bring in all the non serving, our old selves, the versions of ourselves that no longer serve us. And with gratitude, we are going to release. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pushing this all the way through your body down into earth and through your exhale. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This last inhale will be bringing in all of who we are right now. I am enough. I am love. My perspective is honored and respected, valued and nurtured. And on our exhale with compassion and a gentle strength, we're just going to anchor that into ourselves now, who we are right now. I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So beautiful. <sighs> And we're just gonna fill for a moment our hearts. And as we kind of disconnect from one another, still knowing that we are connected. When you're ready, you could bring the palms of your hands together, awakening the nerves and gently opening your eyes again. Um, I'll be on for a few minutes if anyone has questions as far as the Cultivation Center or any of the modalities that we shared with you tonight. Uh, the importance of ritual goes back through ancient knowledge and we really share a lot of that um, ancient knowledge into every single ritual that we bring every month. So if you're curious about that or love to incorporate that kind of stuff, this is a beautiful way to do that. If you are interested in really fully changing that belief system and giving yourself that quantum leap is what we say, that quantum leap into that desired lifestyle, there is so much of that that happens in Cultivation Center, if you have any questions about that. Um, and the channeling. The channeling is one of my favorites. I love the many. <laughs> they call me the curious one. I love it so much. I always have so many questions. But for me, they provided so much guidance and so much expansion and validation. You know, I really am such an out there thinker. And when they have provided me with their guidance and they have also told me you know it's it's good that you're curious and and they just allowed me to be who I am and they love me anyways and I love their love it's such an honor to be able to work with them in this way um so yeah we really do appreciate you guys taking the time yeah. to be here uh Aaron says I appreciate the opportunity to be with yes. you all tonight you, much Aaron. gratitude for the healing gratitude. energy thank you Thank, Thank you, Erin. It's so Thank good to you. feel your energy system. I love it. And if Trina's there, tell her we said hello. Kara says, thank you, Thank ladies, you. appreciate it greatly. Thank, we you. Thank you so much. Kara Smith, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> we got a couple of hands. Yeah, what are the chances? <laughs> and if you guys do have um, a question about any of the, whether it be Cultivation Center or Stars of Unity or just anything in general, if you would like to take, off, take yourself off mute, you can. Or if you want to save it for the chat on the stars of unity community we are definitely mm -hmm. there at all times too so um now would be an opportunity if you would like to ask anything you can yeah. now. If you, and if you don't have anything to ask you are up. you are free you don't feel like you have to hang around you are, yeah. yeah but if you want to stay yeah. and ask any questions or anything so yeah thank you thank you yeah. for joining us thank you thank you thank you so much so do we have any questions mm -hmm. in the chat Oh, you're very welcome. I can't see that far. Taylor, you're welcome. Uh, thank you, Taylor. Taylor. You are so thank welcome. you for coming. Thanks for joining thank us. Thank you. <laughs> we have new moon on Monday too. Oh yeah. Yeah, you have a new moon yeah. on Monday. That'll yeah. be fun. And that's an event for the Stars of Unity. It, it's not a cultivation center it's thing. Free. Yeah, it's What's free. What's your schedule yeah. like? So for Cultivation Center, the <clears throat> Um, the integration sessions, which is just for Cultivation Center, right now they are Sundays at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
and they go, we hold space for 90 minutes. We usually have at least an hour of the session itself. And then we try to do um, like a reflection period. Sometimes our sessions, as far as our modalities that we bring, go the whole time. So sometimes there's not a whole lot of time to reflect, but um, we, uh, we try to hold the space the best we can. But then we also have events that are paid events to everybody else besides Cultivation Center. And right now we're doing um, weekly subconscious calibration session um, and channeling sessions or like new moon or different events. We hold a lot of different events actually. Um, and anything that is paid is free to Cultivation Center. Yes. But we do also have a lot of free events if you just want to stick with the Stars of Unity community. Uh, we try to post them as early as we can in the event section. Um, if you guys need help uh, with the functionality of Stars of Unity, uh, let me know and I'll, I could either share my screen really quick or we can get together or anything like that. Um, it is pretty simple once you get the hang of it, <laughs> but it is, it took me a minute to kind of figure it out too. So I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Oh, and on every month on the first is when you get the, um, like the article, the PDF with all the information. Yeah, that I'll, has I'll just give too. Just real quick. So yeah, you get first of the month, you get the topic and then the first three Sundays first is channeling um, 11 o'clock Pacific time first three Sundays and the first one's all channeling. Um, and the second one is uh, the subconscious repro and the third one is <clears throat> integration ritual and um, that's 33 a month and then you get um, all the events, even the, the galactic channeling we at least do two other channeling a month. Um, and then we, we've been doing one subconscious repro, like 20 of them, uh, weekly. So you're getting subconscious repro guys. Oh my gosh. The, the channeling is, is great. You get direction, you get really good, um, vibes, I guess you would say that's, I don't know. That's what I've been told, but in information, but subconscious repro is awesome. Um, so yeah, that's, but all those events are free too. And the subconscious repro alone is $55 if you're not a cultivation center, it's free. All the, Which is all still those, a really good yeah. price. It's a super it is. Good price yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I that. see that going, going up as on Zoom grows. I see that going up because subconscious, when so people who charge for a subconscious repro charge a lot, bucks a not too many people know how to, no, no, not too many people know how to do it. And so we're very, yeah, blessed. yeah, but it's but really yeah, that's, effective. <clears throat> love it firstly because as we're <laughs> of course we're always trying to better ourselves but the subconscious really is what governs controls how what comes to manifest and it goes into just the um boils down to energy and frequency and vibration and if we can change the frequency of that through this coding process that it saves i mean I used to do like affirmations for months and months and months just for like one belief system oh, yeah. I wanted to yeah. change. Yeah. And I would do yeah. mantras and I would do, and I still do those things, but now I do them for fun. <laughs> like mm -hmm. now I just do it for a quick pick me up mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I could always just test my subconscious, the belief system. And I understand also, it really gives, it provides me a lot of understanding of why I naturally react to something the way I do. You know, when consciously I'm like, oh my God, why does that even bug me or, or something like that? Or why can't I get that right? And I go in and I check my belief system. I'm like, oh, that's why. <laughs> okay. Now I understand. But then I get to just quickly integrate that. And it's amazing. It really has helped me align with my truth and be able to express myself. Like I'm a huge talker and I love to... Um, I love to learn things and I love to share things, but never was I able to get in front of people and express my truth, like my own personal truth. I could talk in front of people about everybody else or about something else over here, but to talk from my heart, I couldn't do it. And I had a belief system that I wasn't worthy of it. And that 
changing that belief system. And actually it was the emotion code with Sherry that really, really set that on fire. And that's a whole nother modality. Yeah, um, we can't, but, we can't figure out how to work that one in. We can't, because you can't do it in a group like sub, subconscious. Yeah. It's a one-on-one -on -one thing. We did do one time in the cultivation center. We did breakout rooms where we did it. Yes. Yeah. That was yeah. fun. We might have to it do was that fun. Again. We might have to do that again. We have a lot of fun in there. <laughs> So it's like yeah. $11 for the sessions, plus you're getting all the other ones for free. Yeah, it's like $11 it's super for three cool. weeks. It's for three weeks. Super yeah. cool. $11 a week for three weeks. I don't know. Is it, did I do math right? Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't There's know. like four it's, weeks in a month, but, uh, but you know, that's you. okay. But it is only 33. But even if that's something that's not doable, we do so much and we're always there anyways. The Stars of Unity community is definitely yes, yes, this for is, all of us, mm -hmm. like all of us to grow into who we are and to express it. Like if any of you guys want to ever um, host an event or have a group, uh -huh or mm -hmm. put on a course like you got I can tell you guys know a lot about a lot of things yeah. if you guys ever want to do any of that like stars of unity will definitely support you with that like yes. there's so much Absolutely. that mighty networks network offers that we can do that all you have to do is just speak up yep. <laughs> absolutely oh I better absolutely. stop recording let's see okay. what's your oh that was the same thing I thought a new thing came through yeah, so I think that's uh -huh. enough. There's no 